but uh, you know, but I'm aware of this like big thing going on in the community. Yeah, like now, like you know, I was playing that like when I was like younger. <laughs> yeah, that's so crazy. Um, yeah, it's huge now. I know, right? The pandemic was like mm. brought all the nerds up. Like, yeah. it's totally not even like a nerd thing. I know that's what I'm saying. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's cool to be a nerd. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I'm saying I don't even feel so weird. Like, I'm, you know, I go to Comic Con every year. I don't even feel weird. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, you are very weird at Comic Con. <laughs> Okay. Um, well, you know, for like you guys can hear us. Like, like, where's your kid? Okay, can you say <laughs> hello, hello. Can you hear oh. me? Excellent. I can. Awesome. Hi, yeah. everybody. Hello. Hey. What up? Oh, that's perfect. Hello. Okay. Um. I just need to bring the agenda up on my phone and then we can get started. Uh, can I take a quick second and run and get the water bottle in my car? Yeah, yeah we're in there. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Melissa, how are you feeling? I'm feeling okay. Thank you. Yeah, I'm tired. Yeah. I don't get, there's no sleep to be had. Oof. Yeah, because she just likes to kick me from the inside. Okay. But thank you. Yeah. Okay, let's see. We've got me, we got Al, we got Jeremy, we got Melissa, we got Michael, we've got Tim. When's your due date, Melissa? May 22nd. Oh, wow. Wow. It's coming yeah, up. I'm feeling ready. I mean, not at all. I'm feeling very, very not ready to have a baby around all the time, but I'm feeling ready to be rid of the human inside of me so <laughs> <laughs> so it's a very confusing time but uh, it'll be good <laughs> yeah <laughs> definitely complicated <laughs> you had that trip to copenhagen like just in the right time huh really yes and i think i'm also having let down from that i had that was so amazing and and it really was like what was keeping me going uh, and then yeah. I kind of like collapsed after that and now I'm like oh god so yeah it's an interesting territory but that was amazing it was so awesome and the film is so good I have no I mean documentaries are not being bought at all these days uh because of, of all the mergers and stuff and so I have no idea if it'll when it'll get distributed basically but it's really really cool i'm really proud of it so that felt amazing and then copenhagen itself was just like such a cool city it was really special so nice yeah wait because of the murders yeah apparently i don't know my other friends in film were just telling me about this that like all of the streaming services are like eating each other oh and so, like, wait, wait, wait. did you think that she said murders? Yeah. Oh, she said murders. I'm murders. Oh, 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 that would be amazing. Oh, no. I was watching it play out in real time. I was like, I'm gonna let this ride. Let this that ride. would be such a good movie. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 because of all those murders out there. That's that's a much better story. I wish I had done that. No, but anyway. Gotcha. Okay. Wow. <laughs> oh. It's so casually. It's all the murders. Murders. <laughs> all the murders. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Well, let's bring this meeting to order now that uh, now that we've got the murders out of the way. Sure. Uh, we are. Um, uh, so we're already recording. Um, 
you know, we started a little late, but I still want to do some more relational check-ins with people. What what have people been up to? I mean, we know we heard about some stuff with Melissa, which is cool. Um, but anybody else have some fun stuff to share? Uh, I'm going. I'm taking two weeks off after this week. I'm yeah. going to turn fifty, and I'm going to probably go to Montreal for a couple of days, and I'm going to also do a lot of just whatever I want. <laughs> it's going to be a spiritually centering time for me. Yes, cool. It's my goal. And that's what you're doing. That sounds you. awesome. Yeah. Spiritually, man, because I'm going to be fifty this year too. <laughs> I have no idea that I was on this. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Well, I get a month off. My new job don't start till uh, the end of this month. And so I've just been, you know, I don't know, just hanging out. I've been doing a lot of shows, getting a book. Got a lot of shows coming up. So that's it. I'm trying to, you know, get outside and you know, work out some more, um, you know, trying to get there. Be like, this is what I look like at 50. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Shit. Uh, I got a, um, uh, my wife and I got an apartment in Jersey City. So we're splitting time between here, keeping the house in uh, South Hadley. So she, start, she started work full time about a month ago. Uh, and it's dope. It's like right across so you can see Manhattan proper. And it's like, it's a nice little, have that, time there in the city, have the time here in in uh in Western Mass. So yeah. What are you doing? Nice transition. Uh, you're working with, you're doing something yeah, I'm still at the school. So I mean she she has to be like on desk. She does financial stuff. So she has to be like down downtown Manhattan proper. Oh so like so we're splitting time. I go down, she comes up just doing a long distance thing for now. Uh, I, I think, I, I don't remember if I mentioned it last time, maybe not during the meeting, maybe like after or something, but I became the advisor for the, the gaming club on the, at the university that I work at. Uh, and they have their, their big annual event this weekend called Nerd Day. And it's just like, they take the biggest event space on campus and then section it off into like, um, video games, card games, board games. Uh, all sorts of stuff, and they get like it, it goes for like 12 hours. It's a huge thing. Uh, so I'm going to be helping them out with that this weekend. That'll be fun. Nice. It sounds great. I have been in uh, school budgeting hell for, uh, for uh, like two weeks. Yeah. Uh, so I'm hoping to that that will resolve itself on Thursday night, and then I can not think about school budgeting for a while <laughs> and do some outdoor stuff like. Going for some hikes and bike rides and some gardening. That that's like on the precipice with the good weather. It feels like mm. I'm gonna get there. So we'll see. Nice. Cool. All right. Well, uh... wait, wait, just confirming. So Florian and Nola aren't here. Correct. Yes. Okay. Great. Because I mean, I don't see them, and I didn't hear them talk. But just in case. Okay. Yeah, no, I uh, I did hear from them via email, and I put that they were not attending in the agenda. So yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see here. Let's talk about the next meeting. Da -da. Okay. Uh, talking about May, the second Tuesday in May is the ninth. How do people feel about the ninth? Works for me. So far, I'm good. Yeah, so, that's good for me. I'll let you know. I <laughs> that should be fine for me. That's good for me. Cool. All right. Wow. So easy. Um, yeah, let's play it on the night then. <laughs> Okay. These phone calls. Um, let's take a look at the January yeah, minutes, yeah, or not the January minutes. I copy paste this agenda. <laughs> the minutes from last week, which was March. Yes. 
Um, Open it now. Yeah, if I could look on your computer. Yeah. He's trying to look on my phone. It's just a nightmare. Oh, that's board of directors. 2023. Yeah, Dan, so many minutes. So, so Daniel, we're, we're at the high school in the high school space now? Yes. Great. And we're there at 11 to, 11 to 7 Tuesday. Okay. Right. Many minutes up. Uh, let's yeah, see, last month. Uh, we had a great director's report um, yeah. talking about how uh, the move has been going well, decent traffic, uh, seven day film sprint yeah. just launched. Uh, they picked the crowdsourced film, it's going to be Toy Story. Awesome. Uh, some of the fun stuff. Uh, we had um, the high school report from NOLA, which was great. Uh, lots and lots of good stuff in there. And we talked a little bit about uh, board member subcommittees and the spring workshop planning. And we're going to follow up on some of that this meeting. Um, but yeah, how are people feeling about the minutes from April? Or no, I'm sorry, minutes from March. I know what month it is. I swear. <laughs> Good. It's pretty good to me. Looks like it captured everything well. Cool. Good stuff, y'all. Yeah. All right. Uh, can I get a motion to approve? A motion to approve the minutes. Second? We got a second. Okay. All those in favor of approving the March minutes, say aye or raise your hand. Aye. And then I'm going to stand because I was. Who seconded it? Sorry. I did. Oh, okay. Cool. And Jeremy, you abstain? Yeah, only because I wasn't there. Okay. But they look good. All right, nice. Um, that will move us into the director's report, which I have up on our Zoom computer. We're going to screen share that. And Al can awkwardly go through it, I guess. Okay, so um, we cleaned out a good amount of older material from our space at 3ADM. We hired a, a moving company, um, disposal company to come in and, and got rid of a lot of old broken stuff, um, stuff that we really can't use anymore for anything, obsolete things. Um, that felt really good. The space is um, looking a lot better than it was, um, opened up quite a bit and feels good. So we're happy about that. Uh, we may need to come and do that one more time in the future um with a smaller uh, load of stuff but uh we also may not we may be able to handle that on our own um we launched and finished the seven day film sprint 20 teams signed up for the sprint this year um the prompt was wait a minute wait a minute the universal prompt which is the first piece of audio ever recorded on film and played back and the jazz singer and um then there were a bunch of other prompts given out um teams made two minute films 20 people signed up or 20 groups of people and eight people finished, which is a little lower than usual percentage wise, um, but it was still great. The films are really cool. We screened them at the parlor room. Um, it's the first time we've um, used the parlor room since it became a nonprofit organization. So that was really great to sort of retain that partnership with them as they change their um, governance structure. And um, and so it was, it was fun, it was a great time. Um, and we're also going to plan on some kind of big changes for the next film sprint. Um, it's we've been kind of doing the same thing for a while, a couple of different versions, but we're going to we're going to shift it around a lot for next year, which will be year 10. And we're going to try to make, make it a bigger uh, event as well, bigger celebration and get more people involved. Um, Dave's going to be headed off to NAB in Las Vegas now, uh, next week, which is where they release all the new toys for multimedia. Um, and he's going to be checking out all the things um that we're looking to purchase um and and also do some education and professional development over there uh we opened signups for crowdsource toy 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 story it's such a hard thing <laughs> to say but toy story um so we have about 20 teams signed up already we're going to start sending out scenes tomorrow if you are interested please sign up and please tell everyone you know um we're really excited to do the film i had a conversation with jason weeks 
Uh, Jason received an ARPA grant and he's working with digital commerce um, as part of what's called the Vibrancy Project. And the Vibrancy Project is um, geared towards revitalizing downtown Northampton um, post pandemic because um, traffic downtown, meaning customer traffic or public traffic or whatever, uh, ha has slowed since the pandemic. Um, and they're trying to reinvigorate the community. So the Vibrancy Project is doing quite a few things. Jason is planning on a festival downtown. It's going to be either in fall or in next spring. Um, it's going to involve a lot of music. It's going to involve some comedy. I think he talked to you. Mm -hmm. And um, it's going to involve some podcasting. And so he approached us as a partner, and, and we're really excited to partner on that. Um, and that'll be happening sometime in the next year. I'm actually on that committee. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Are you in the vibrancy committee? Yeah. Nice. Cool. Yeah, so I, I don't like see you about it. Nice. Thank you. <clears throat> um, we're looking to transfer the cleaners from this space to our new space. Um, we just have to figure out a way to get them in the building easily. Um, it's a little trickier because security at the school is a lot uh, more intense than navigating security here. Um, but we should be able to figure that out and they'll start cleaning over there. We've also, the, there's been, they, they're having trouble uh, transferring our phone line from over here to there, which is why you heard that phone ringing in here. <laughs> um, it has something to do with some old tech um, that we've had our phones long enough that um, we're on some sort of antiquated system, but they're working on it is what I'm assured. And we still have phone service in both locations, uh, but our main number is not transferring over and forwarding correctly. Um, um, just a note, I think I may have mentioned this before, but I'm not sure that we will not be, after construction in the building, we're not going to be um, curating art on the walls of the building. Um, we did that for a couple of months a year, every year, but um, it was a lot of uh, attention and time for staff that is not really in our exact wheelhouse. Um, what we'd rather do is to curate some multimedia content in our space and have that going for Arts Night Out. Um, and leave sort of the, the art that hangs on the wall to people who encounter more art that hangs on the wall um, groups. So um, that's it. That's about it. It's only been about two weeks since our last meeting. So right. uh, <laughs> that's what we've been up to. But um, that's the director's report. And if there's any questions, I'd be happy to answer them about anything. Um. I know it's ironic that I'm asking you this question, but <clears throat> I feel like that is a really low turnout or completion rate for the film spread. I'm wondering if you have any ideas for why. Um, one thing, some people did, our email went into spam for some people, and I think they oh. their prompts. Mm. Um, I heard that from a couple of people, not from everyone, obviously, but uh, so I wonder if, if that's something going on with our email address. Other than that, I don't really know, except that maybe it's just a year where people have more going on. I don't really, I'm not really sure, but it is a low percentage for sure. We've, we've even had like more films completed with fewer signups. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I know. I'm trying to think why too. Because it's not like a very, I mean, it's all been at all different times of the year. Anyway, that's just interesting. Cool. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that it was successful regardless. Yeah. <clears throat> so you said you was going to make changes for the 10th year. Yeah. Any ideas? And um, I mean, oh. one, one of the things is just changing the kinds of ways we give prompts. Like, so one idea is just do all chase scenes next year. Everyone does a chase scene and it's a different kind of chase scene. And so we're doing more of a study of the chase scene. And it might just have more, be more interesting than giving people sort of random things to have it be more well-defined. Or another idea I had was um, to try to chop something up into a narrative. Like maybe it's not a film, but it's something, it's almost like crowdsource where it's like a 20 minute piece. And then people can make parts of that instead. I, I think just mixing up what we're doing with people. So. What I did during COVID, yeah. which was a video project for my video class, I had kids take a egg cart and each one had to do a scene involving one egg that they took out. Yeah. 
And what they would do is they would put it, they would interconnect the scenes by like they would pick it up on their front doorstep yeah. and then go film either their back doorstep or like another person, like a neighbor's doorstep. And they would place the eggs on it yeah. and then would pick up from the last thing. Right. And it was, it was one egg out each time. Yeah, like you cool. could do a chase scene where it was like passing like some something like passing the banana and they have to give it to the next person. Yeah. But it's like a, a cut in shot of a hand going to a hand. Yeah. And then it's to the next person. You know what I'm oh, saying? Pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Some I've cool. done something similar with like a letter, um, like people passing a letter yeah. um, or like a dollar. Yeah, exactly. Like passing a baton type thing. I mean, metaphorically. MacGuffin. Yeah, that'd be cool. Or I was thinking of like, um, but I think we've talked about this in the past. I think logistically this would be too crazy, but like, like a telephone type situation where it's like, yeah uh you know where it, it's almost like passing it uh so like a, a team has a week so it would be over more time or whatever or like a few days and then they pass it yeah you know what i mean but i don't know that's kind of complicated oh that'd be awesome i like that i yeah. like the letter idea like, yeah you know, the letter is cool. letter, like read it and put it back in the envelope it's kind of like do a scene yeah, and everything so but at the end the of it they get to letting the other person read, like over and read, and they have prompts in them to do whatever. Yeah. What is the movie? The the Saragossa manuscripts. You ever see it? Oh, no, I'm not seen it. So it's like it's 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 like a renowned film, but it was like it's like psychedelic age. But um, it starts way back in like 1200s, and the guy writes a letter, and like all of a sudden the next guy finds it, and it's like 1500s, and then it's the oh, 1800s, okay. and they keep on going like that. Oh, that's cool. I like that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Such a good movie too. Maybe we'll do a sprint committee with people. It would also be good to get in front of a little bit more, like try to do some recruiting towards it, and have the yeah. celebration be a little bit more. I don't know. Have a little more zazz. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. I love the film sprint. Mm. Um. I like the idea of having it be a topic related to, to motion because it's a film sprint. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Like an actual like sprint. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Sprint with a um what do you call it? a relay or something? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. The 10 year anniversary, the need for speed. Yeah, too like speed, too furious. Yeah, there you go. Get a not slowing down nom sort of tie-in. Yeah, yeah. 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 Accelerating to the next decade of this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, That's fun. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> um, okay. Well, uh so Nola is not here this evening. Jeremy, are you interested slash prepared to do the high school report yeah you do not I, need I, to so i um i got a couple of things down here uh so i don't know if it was in the last one but did she mention c-span student cam so we had two students uh sheer sweet and jane harrison millman who won third place regionally with for the c-span student cam documentary award they did a um they did this awesome uh, it's, it's a national contest, and the premise is that there's a prompt given by, uh, by C-SPAN, and it's usually something like, what is something that has, you know, impacts, you know, your, your local, state, and national legislation, and what you, you would like to see change. And so this year, they, they looked at, uh, it was called The Pain Within, and they looked at uh, domestic violence, um, and they just totally crushed it. We've in the past won honorable mention for our region, but this was the first time we got third place regionally. Uh, so it's, it's it's a super awesome deal. I've, I've sent um, in talks with Al right now to have um, a ceremony at the school. Usually that entails the mayor coming, uh, the representatives from Comcast. Uh, Al will be there. The superintendent's come in the past, the mayor. And uh, it's just awesome. And they kind of recognize the students. They get things from uh, like Elizabeth Warren and other representatives like this nice signed thing. So it's super awesome. They did an awesome job and yeah, super proud of them. So that's, that's coming uh, in the next few weeks with there, we're going to have that little ceremony. So we take pictures and stuff. We'll share it there. Um, the film sprints, it was one of the things that was kind of 
uh, that we discussed, we have the transcript, which is the weekly, it was is our weekly news segment. But what we actually do is what what we've kind of coined as narrative news. So they'll do skits within like light skits within their um, within their segments. And so what would be awesome is that if there's certain prompts that we could have, rather than it's kind of invert our formula of, you know, the first 30 seconds is usually a skit and then they go into their news, but invert that to, you know, their three minute segment is primarily narrative that they're telling through. And so they still have their segments, they still have their pitches that they have to do, but they fit it within the a narrative scope and a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And so have that collaboration. Cause I think that getting some of those students that, and opening it up to like the film club, for instance, cause they've been also crushing it. Um, and so just different ways of incorporating film sprints, uh, into, uh, the, uh, into NHS, um, which is another thing, which is the filming for the NHS film club. I'm the advisor, kind of like a pseudo advisor right now. We're not, we're not really a, uh, formal club, so to speak, but I've been advising them, helping them out. Um, they started filming and they filmed, I think the majority of what they've had, I think they have 80% of it filmed thus far. They received a grant from, uh, North Hampton Media, which, uh, they kind of consulted with me with, consulted with Dave and getting equipment, seeing what overlapped, uh, and they're doing a really good job. They incorporated, uh, Steve Eldridge, which was, who was a, a former teacher at the school. Uh, he said it, it went well. So they're in the editing process and they're doing uh, a little bit more shooting. Um, we, Wait, sorry, I missed the thread of that last thing you just said. What was that? So the uh, NHS Film Club is is trying to wrap up, uh, and they also received some grant money from Northampton Media. So they've been uh, they've been really great with kind of organization and everything. So they're in the editing phase now. Um, I recently sent uh, this is this was bought through school stuff, but. Um, I recently sent our drone out for this, our second repair. The drone has been, <laughs> it's, the drone has been damaged twice. So I would like to, um, to collaborate with, uh, with Northampton Open Media on just kind of best practices and a little bit more. Uh, the students are really great with our equipment. Accidents happen. They're not responsible or liable for, you know, this is the part and all said and done is probably, I think it was $30 for the first repair, probably 30 to 50 for this one. But it's good to have that base knowledge. And I know that um, Dave and others have the, some of that knowledge and it would be good to have kind of like, if not a pilot's, uh, like a licensure thing that they do, at least we're under the minimum weight requirement for pilot's licenses and stuff, but still when they're flying it, I, 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 would, I would like to kind of have them have a little bit more knowledge on that. So any collaboration on education would, would be great. Um, and then leadership is going to be at the end of the semester uh, right now, in the next couple of weeks, we're going to be looking at uh, the changing of the guard for our associate and senior uh, news producer and editor for the transcript for next year. Um, those those conversations with the um, with the underclassmen are, are taking place now. And in doing so, that also means that NOLA will probably not be available at, um, if not from the summer, definitely come September. And so looking at um, looking at kind of replacements and in, in, uh, sustaining the legacy uh, through the through the class leadership. So yeah, that's that, that's on that's what's on our agenda. Cool. Uh, okay, so the next thing would be the board. Wait, I'm sorry, I have no brain. I, <laughs> so the last thing you said was was it was that recruitment for the transcript for next year. Oh, I mean, yeah, so I just put I just put the bullet points in there. If you, oh oh in the oh, okay good oh yeah I had tried to do it that's better okay <laughs> you can, yeah okay thank you yeah uh, all right so the the next thing was the board recruitment subcommittee uh, Jeremy you and I didn't get a chance to meet no all, but it was only in two weeks what are we gonna do uh, but um, Michael you sent me a really great email with some suggestions. If you'd like to talk a little bit about those people, you don't have to, but just if you feel like it, that'd be cool. Sure. Um, I I had reached out to Wade Wofford, who some yeah. of you might know. I think he's on the the larger arts council board. Yeah. Anyway, um, 
to see, you know, if he had any suggestions and he recommended, and now I'm totally blanking on the name. Hold on, let me look this up. Someone that had worked with him on a film recently. Um, hold on one second, let me get the name right. Um, um, Devir Cockett. Um, I'm not sure if anyone knows him. He he was a he said that he was a grip on his production company's last feature. Uh, he saw him a couple months ago acting as a mentor for young artists in video at the Youth Performance Festival, and he thought he'd be a really good match. Um, and he he gave us the the contact information for him, so that seemed like a maybe a good lead. Um, the other person I reached out to was in the film and media studies department at Amherst, and they recommended someone that had just moved to the area, um, Amber, and I'm gonna blank on her last name, BMAC, Amber BMAC. I just heard about her. She just moved to the area, that's why, that makes sense. As someone I know for in New York was, uh, was met her and really liked her, and, and he was wondering why I didn't know her. Anyway, that's interesting. Cool. Yeah, so I think so. I'm pretty sure she was here part of last summer. So so this this woman who's the chair of film media studies lives like the next block. And she was gone last summer. And I'm pretty sure Amber was like their friends and was like at her house. But then I think Amber also like moved here since then full time. But if you go to her website, it, it lists her still being in Texas, but she has relocated here. Um, and in the paper the other day, I saw that she just uh, won a Guggenheim Award. That's what it was. Yes, she just won a Guggenheim. Yes, yes. I've heard about her. That's so cool. So we had an exchange and she she said she would be very interested in being on the board. She just had a baby. So she's wary to take it on uh, like in the next cycle, but would like to be considered for the future. Um, mm -hmm. And so I, I told her we, I would pass that all along and thanked her. and. Um, so she seems like maybe a, a, a promising lead. Um, you know, it'd be a nice way, I think, for her to get to know people in the community too, which um, would, would be nice. Um, and then I have like one more person to reach out to, but I haven't done it yet. Um, I'm not sure if any of you know this guy. He's He lives on my street and he's a filmmaker. I don't know him that well, which is why he was the third person I was reaching out to. Um, but his his name is uh what's his, his first name is Dakon Dakon do, does that sound familiar to you no he he's made some like documentaries I think he made a documentary about Italy um a number of years ago and he yeah he moved to the area from Brooklyn maybe two or three years ago yeah. um but I was going to reach out to him to see <laughs> what projects he was currently working on if this would be of interest or if he knew anybody um as well so Happy to still do that and and pass along what I hear um, as well. Well, cool. yeah, really, really great, great suggestions. Thanks for doing that. Sure, my pleasure. Um, so, yeah, and and um, uh, last meeting, uh, Nola had given some awesome suggestions for students. So I think we're starting to shape up to be to be pretty good for for a list of potential candidates for, for next year. Um, so yeah, uh, I have the email from you, Michael, with a bunch of the that information on those people. So I can copy that text and send it over to, or actually I can just copy it into the into the minutes that Melissa's okay. on. So I will do that. Um, and do you want me to reach out to Dacon as well? Do you want me to, yeah. or? If you got time. Okay, have. sure. I just didn't want to give you too many if you already had a bunch. So I, I'm happy to do it. Cool. Uh, yeah, no, I think that's good. Um, and I think Jeremy, you and I should still try and meet before next meeting. And just because I want to see if we can come up with a couple more, but we are starting to look pretty solid for yeah. it, I think. Uh, all right. Uh, nice. So let's see here. Uh, oh, the, the last thing was the uh, spring workshop. And I maybe I can bring up the doodle yeah. and screen share. I, I, I think I have to revisit dates as well, just because things start filling in. Sure. I kind of gave gave dates, but 
What? Yeah, let me see if I can bring the, the doodle up and screen share it here. And we don't need to come up with a... When did you send the doodle out? I sent it out with the Zoom link and agenda for oh, this meeting. It. It's all in the same email. So while we're taking that time, I just want to add, do you think, um, what about when you're talking about the drones and stuff? So I'm just asking, like, what are you think about the class as far as like the part 107 license? You yeah. Know I mean, maybe. Yeah, could send the students to that class. I mean, well, yeah, no, it's not, I mean, me too. No, I, mean, <laughs> I mean, not me personally, but I'm saying like, you yeah, know, and you know, like people who are a part. For sure. I think it makes sense to do like, yeah, to like figure out what kind of education, formal education possibilities and licensing and um, see how much it costs and then figure out. I think the test is like $150. Yeah. For, for the test, but I mean, you got to, you know, this some uh studying involved and yep you know, it's not i mean it's not super hard but there's things like if you just don't know you don't know you know right what I mean? right you just need yeah. to know the numbers like right. the height the caps and the caps, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. floors and all that clouds, stuff like what kind of kind of things like that uh, but yeah so i mean So we, so, so I just put down um, all of the Saturdays and Sundays in May and June. Uh, Melissa, I think you you said you were probably gonna be out for this. Just totally fine. <laughs> Enjoy having your child. Baby, <laughs> baby. <laughs> but- uh, Get the human out, in, out of you, yeah. as, as you said. <laughs> um, uh, and I got responses from Nola and Jeremy, but I think Nola could only do like one day, which was May 20th, to the Saturday. I'm going to check to make sure that's I don't, correct. I don't think I put any Saturdays. If I did, I know I'm paying the people to turn on the 20th. <laughs> uh, yeah, I haven't, I haven't responded to this yet, but I know I can do this from this from this from this. That's going to get tough. Yeah. I mean, on my work computer. So it isn't Sunday. Conduct personal business on my work computer. <laughs> yeah, again, we don't need to figure out the exact date now, but I do want to get a better idea of like what ones are definitely right out mm -hmm. and what work better for people. Maybe we can set it out again and just slim it down from the people that. Well, yeah, that's my hope, right? Um, but I, but I know that we've, we've only got two, so we got like a couple more people chiming in. That'll help a lot. Um. But yeah, so we were thinking, uh, let's see. So Jeremy, you're basically good for no Saturdays, so just probably Sundays for you? Yeah, I would say Sunday. Okay. Uh, it looks like, yeah, June, that was good. Probably May. <laughs> And it's definitely better in June. June, 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 is, June gets real hairy. Yeah, sure. June is really hard for me too. Okay. So maybe we're thinking a Saturday, uh, or no, I'm sorry, a Sunday. In May? In, later in May. Oh, uh, yeah. Like the 21st? I could probably do the 21st. Um, Oh, just to uh, uh, give a brief uh, description of what the event is, I guess, that would probably be helpful. Uh, the, uh, it's just getting together for like, uh, I put it in for six hours, but, you know, I, I don't remember how long it took us to do the last one. I think we did it five. Uh, but it's just getting together and we uh, hang out and work on the board policy document will be our big thing uh, for this workshop. And we alternate it between working on the policy document and breaking to eat and breaking to play board games. Yeah, it was, it was casual and productive. Yeah, last time. it was it was good. Really nice mix. So that's my plan to to basically just do that again because it worked really well. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so if we're thinking a Saturday in May, um, or I'm sorry, I keep saying Saturday, a Sunday in May. Uh, try and try and see if that works specifically the 21st and uh, fill out the doodle 
and I will send one out that's a little more concise when we have some more definite dates. I've um, I just realized I have I'm checking my calendar. I have my daughter's ballet Little Mermaid performance on the twenty first. Uh, um, <laughs> nice. I, um, it, based on the timing, I could come after that. So I, I won't select it, but if that ends up being the date, I could probably participate for okay most of it afterwards. So oh yeah, that's another thing about this. Since it's longer, if you can only be there for like half of it, that is also fine. You know, feel free to show up late or whatever. Because as Jeremy was saying, it's more of a casual event. Right. Um, but cool. Okay, so we'll uh, take that into consideration, and uh, yeah, I'll send out uh, another doodle with some more narrowed down dates for everybody. But awesome. Well, let's stop sharing this. And I think that's pretty much it. Ugh. Any other business anybody had to bring up? I have a real bone to pick with Melissa because I can't read any of these AI headlines without reading it as <laughs> Al anymore. So Yay! <laughs> you've joined the club. It's like my favorite thing ever. <laughs> I've totally joined the club. I'm just like, oh. I picture Al doing whatever the thing is. It's all from Al. Al thought of it first. I, I'm not surprised why, because it looks like his name, but um, yeah, it's pretty fun. It was my friend Dave is the one who brought it up to me. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, Al, you were gonna like new, you know, do a nuclear strike against a bunch of places the other day in some headline. I was like, oh, Al's <laughs> launching missiles now. <laughs> yeah, you should be very careful about me. In the future. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, y'all. Let's. Uh, can I get a motion to adjourn? A motion to adjourn. I'll second. All right. Uh, all those in favor of adjourning our meeting for this month, say aye or raise your hand. Uh, aye. Aye. Cool. cool. All right. Bye, y'all. Good stuff. Thank you, everybody. Yep. Yeah. See you later. Bye. Yeah. Uh